flavorful guys hi everyone welcome back to our cooking channel we'll be preparing the legendary dish called rendang not only we'll be making this delicious curry but we will also delve into fascinating history behind it so let's get started let's take a moment to appreciate the history and cultural significance of rendang indonesia is an archipelago country consists of more than 17,000 of islands rendang originates from the west part of this island specifically from the Minangkabau ethnic group. Rendang is often hailed as one of the most iconic dishes in the country. It has a very long standing history that stretches back for generations. Traditionally, it served during festive occasion. Rendang holds a very special place in Indonesian people's heart. Today, we're going to make the easy version of it based on whatever we have in our kitchen and available in Dallas area. First step, we're going to grind some of our ingredients. We're going to grind the shallot, garlic, galangal roots, ginger roots, and red chili powder. We add half of the cooking oil. Next, we add the turmeric powder. I use a uh, one teaspoon of turmeric powder. We are done with chopping. Let's see how the consistency of all of our spices. So this is what we're looking for. Once we grind some of the ingredients, let's get in into the next step. Next step, we're going to stir fry the fragrant aromatic spices. First is adding the oil. Next, we stir fry all the cloves, bay leaves, next we add the lemongrass stick, if you notice I kind of break them apart so that the aroma will come out very very nicely put the fire very low guys we don't want to burn them we just want to stir fry them a little bit so the aroma come out we add all the cardamom seed i love cardamom seed they give very very nice fragrance and spicy flavor to the meat when you use lamb, you gotta use a lot more cardamom seed. And then the last one we put in into the cinnamon stick. Now we stir fry them with a very low temperature. It's so flavorful guys, all the fragrance already come out. 
Next step, we're going to mix all the ingredients that we grind earlier into this oily and uh, fragrant full spices. Next, we put it all the grind ingredients. Put them together. Once they all blended like this, we can start putting our meat together with all the spices. So we let this, the meat and all the spices uh, together for a long, long period of time. We're gonna let them sing like this for around 20 minutes and then mix them and then keep it still together for another 30, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. But do not season them until they're almost done. And uh, coconut milk also will be given when they're almost cooked. After a few minutes, it will be like this and let it keep cooking for another 30 minutes and we'll see how the texture after 30 minutes and we keep cooking them until they all fully cook. So we are halfway through, uh, or I would say 75 minutes almost done. The meat and all the spices, all the ingredients been cooked for about 45 minutes. We still need around 15 to 20 more minutes to cook. Okay, so we're still... So the fire to cook this beef need to be in a low, low temperature and uh, so, so let them kind of cook together in a low fire and uh, sink them for about 45 minutes to 1 hour. Next we are going to add the dried tamarind to add the kick off spice in there the dry tamarind like I said you can find it in Asian grocer or Indian grocery store and then this is also the time to add the coconut milk I'm using half cup of coconut milk all the color and flavors start to look very good together at this point I still haven't seasoned them so we wait until the coconut milk is fully cooked and then we season them with salt pepper and um, beef bouillon It's time to season our rendang. So we are just going to use garlic salt, black pepper, black pepper, and beef bouillon.
when it's halfway cooked like this I like to pick up all the big spices like this so we don't accidentally eat them well we thought it's the meat because that's what usually happened to me I would pick up some of the cinnamon and I would think it's meat I would excitedly eat and wow it's a trap so let's pick them up well they're almost done all right I think this will be done in the next five minutes guys we are done making our rendang guys after one hour cooking all the beef with uh, all the spices with the um, coconut milk it's done look how beautiful I remember uh, the first time I make rendang when I was 19 years old my father was very proud so in Indonesian culture every parent will be so proud when their girl started to make rendang on their own so I started making this when I was 19 years old and my dad would pack little piece of the, the, the rendang I made and share to neighbors and every neighbor be like oh my god we're so proud of you Kamala you are a big girl now so it's like a big milestone for girls to be able to cook rendang on their own for the first time so I like to eat rendang, my rendang with at um, sh fried shallot on top of it and that's that so we are for today this is our final product today you will have all the recipe in the description below and let's try this rendang we made okay I like to eat it with rice it's best to eat it with rice so let's try them it's gotta be good mmm 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 the meat so tender and all the spices is so melt with the meat everything is kind of blend together mm. 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 so make this guys this is the simple this is the simple version uh, the traditional one it's cooked very there are a lot more ingredients that needed to be there that I couldn't find it in Dallas so I make it simple for you so you can try it in your kitchen so thank you for watching today stay tuned for more delicious recipe and i see you in our next video don't forget to like subscribe and share see you in the next video